In Philadelphia, a new law makes wearing a ski mask in parks, schools, and on public transit punishable by a $250 fine. The ACLU warns it could limit free expression. It would also make it easier to identify and track the car thieves and looters who, of course, make videos like this possible from Philadelphia. Philadelphia City Council member Anthony Phillips authored the bill and joins us now. It's good to see you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, tell us what the idea behind this is. Leland, it's good to see you as well. Uh, listen, I just heard you uh, talk about the ACLU. Hardworking residents in the city of Philadelphia made this bill possible. Nowhere, everywhere I went in the city, people literally said, we need to be hard on crime and we need to find a way to get individuals who wear these ski masks to literally take them off. Um, we've seen not only robberies in our businesses, but we also see in public places, people are nervous and scared of individuals who are wearing these ski masks. Uh, what I'll tell you is that uh, we do not, uh, I don't I don't work or, or speak for the ACLU. I, I work, I, I speak for uh, hardworking residents in the city of Philadelphia. Yeah. And what I tell the ACLU is that they need to be uh, in these neighborhoods and listening to individuals uh, who are petrified of the folks in these ski masks. Oh, I, I hear you. I spent some time in Philadelphia over the summer. Uh, I don't know if it's yeah. your district, but in, in downtown and drove drove out through some of the, the various uh, tougher neighborhoods of Philadelphia. It was terrifying. Um, so I understand how people who are living there would feel really scared. What I'm trying to figure out, though, is if somebody's going to be committing crimes, if they're going to be robbing, they're going to be carjacking, they're going to be looting, yep. um, those are a lot bigger crimes than wearing a ski mask. Why is a fine against wearing a ski mask going to concern them? Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. One of the things that we didn't want to do, we had to work collectively with a large, you know, a different, a, a number of different views uh, in the city, in the city council, is that we didn't want to give people a record, uh, a hard record uh, for wearing a ski mask. What we want to do is use this as a mechanism to deter crime as opposed to giving a record for wearing a ski mask. Uh, the goal is, is to help people who see this as a as a trend to understand that, hey, you can have civil liberties and have freedom to do things, but you, you don't have the right and freedom to infringe a upon others people's freedoms mm. because at the end of the day ski masks are often associated with criminality in the city of philadelphia and the philadelphia yeah. police department needs our help with this yeah there's not a lot of people wearing ski masks uh who then are you know helping old ladies across the street just two things and, that don't go and, together and let me ask you this when, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> been there for that yeah. um think about larry krasner though who's the district attorney um, one yeah. of the softest on crime da's in the country if he was prosecuting these criminals, he was locking them up, he wasn't letting them out without, without posting bail, on and on and on, would your law be necessary? And the flip side of that is, if Larry Krasner is not going to prosecute these people anyway, do you think they're really going to be scared of a fine for wearing a ski mask? Well, let me tell you this. Uh, this law has come about every, has, come, has come as a result of us not doing as much as we should uh, since the pandemic, yeah. when it comes to crime. Um, and unfortunately, we've had leaders in the city of Philadelphia who have not made sure that crime is literally, you know, at a high, at, we're hard on crime and making sure that enforcement is at its high level. And so here we are. And so, you know, I had a I had an old lady, a senior citizen, tell me the other day, you know, Phillips, I sent you to city council to make sure neighborhoods are safe. I'm not I'm not here uh, for you to talk about the ACLU. I'm here for you to make sure that I'm safe. And she's a, she's from Missionary Baptist Church. And so, you know, at the end of the day, you're right. You know, we if we were on top of things in our leadership way before the pandemic. Before I got on council, it's my first year. Um, we there could have been some things that we could have done to prevent all this. Well, your first year, you're listening to your constituents. Uh, that's an important <laughs> thing. Councilman yeah. Phillips, we appreciate you being with us. We invite you back anytime, sir, all right? Thanks, Leland. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.